Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Programming and Algorithms. In this episode we're going to look at how to do some simple statistics on an array. So we'll look at how to calculate the minimum value of the array, the maximum value in the array, the average of the array and the standard deviation in the array. So we start off with working out how to calculate the minimum value in an array. So it's, it's a relatively straightforward program. The, we have a for loop that goes from the start to the end of the array. What we do is we create a variable called minimum so far and we assume that the first element is the minimum value of the array. At least it's the first element we found. Then we go from the rest of the array to the end and then we see if there's any value that's smaller than the first value. And if there's a value that's smaller than the first value, then we say, all right, well, that's the minimum we found so far. Then we keep on going, and if we find another value that's smaller than the value we found so far, then that becomes the smallest value. So all we're doing is we're going from the start to the end of the array, looking for the smallest number. If we find a small number, assume that's the smallest. And if we find a number smaller than that, then that's the smallest number in the array. And then we print out that. So that's how to find the minimum value in the array. The maximum is the opposite way around. For the maximum, all we do is assume the first element is the smallest value in the array. If it's the smallest value, or we assume it's the biggest, I beg your pardon, the biggest value in the array. So we assume that's the biggest and then we keep on going through the array and if we find a number that's bigger than the first value, then that gets the value, that, that's assigned max value so far. And then we keep on going to the end and if we find any number that's bigger than max value so far, then that number becomes max value so far. So simple, we start at the start, assume the first element is the biggest number. We check each element and if there's any element bigger than that, then the bigger element is assumed to be the maximum in the array. Keep on going to the end and if there's any number that's bigger than the one we found so far, that's the biggest in the array. So that's how to do the minimum and maximum. Now let's look at how to get the average. We've looked at in another video how to calculate the average, so we'll do it again just to remind ourselves, and this will help us when we're doing the standard deviation. So the average, the key thing here is that we've got a variable called a, a running total or an accumulating variable. And we just get the value of each element of the array and add that onto the running total. So that running total starts at zero, then we add on the value of element one the first element, then we add on the second value to that, the second element, we add on to that, the third element, add on to th that, the fourth element. So then when we've got to the end of the loop, we have the total value if we added up all the numbers in the array. And then to get the average, we just divide it by the, the number of elements in the array or the array size. I suppose for the statistically minded people amongst us, we would say that the average we're calculating is the mean. There are two other averages the mode and the median. There are two other common averages, the mode and the median, but we're calculating the mean, and because we're adding up the values, it's the arithmetic mean we're calculating, not the geometric mean or anything else. But that's a handy little program. It's a loop with an accumulating total, and we divide, we print out the division of the total value by the size of the array, the number of elements. Once we can do this, then it's relatively straightforward to do the standard deviation. Now, I'm going to address you directly into the camera. Look guys, I'm going to show you a formula for standard deviation. It might look a bit strange at first, but don't worry about it. As programmers, we don't need to understand why this formula works. We just need to understand how to implement it. So here's the formula. It's the square root of sigma, the sum of x minus the average of x squared, all divided by n minus one. So what does that mean? Well. For each element of the array, let's subtract that from the average value of the array. So let's say the average is 10, and we've got elements who have values 5, 3, 2, 14, 21, 6, and 8. We take 10 away from each of those and square that for each value and then add them up. So the sigma there means add up all the elements, all the, all the differences between each element and the average of that array squared. And then we divide that by minus one. So the code for this is actually surprisingly straightforward, but we're going to do it in two passes. So here's our first draft. Our first draft says, get the average of the array. So let's say we have that. And if we have that, then we go from the start to the end of the array. And what we do is we get the difference between each value and the average. 
and multiplied that by each value on the average. So we're squaring the difference there between each value and the average. And then the next line, total SD num is sine total SD num plus SD num is accumulating that. So we're adding, we're, that's doing the sigma bit, we're adding up the square of the differences there. When we finish that, we haven't got the whole thing done. Then we've two other things to do. To calculate some deviation, then what we need to print out is the square root of that total, which is the square of the differences, divided by n minus 1, in this case the array size minus 1. So that's how we calculate the standard deviation. And see how we're not doing all of the calculations within the body of the array. The body of the loop is just doing the sigma bit. It's getting the difference between each element of the array and the average and squaring that and accumulating that. That's the sigma bit being done there. And then outside of it, all we're doing is printing the square root of that divided by n minus 1. So that's our first draft. If we want to see what the pseudocode looked like with the average bit in it as well, it's like this, it's a bit smaller, but here we have, it's two loops. The first loop is calculating the average, and the second loop is then doing the standard deviation. So if we were to say what complexity that has, the first loop takes n computations, and the second loop takes n computations, so it's 2n, order 2n, big O, open bracket 2n, is our complexity there, that's how long it'll take, which is fairly short. So all right, that's mean, min, max, and standard deviation. Thanks very much, we'll see you on the next video.